to understand the secret orders and elite bloodlines that control the media and the Earth's resources, we must evaluate and understand their belief system or power source. We could call it their core doctrine. We have learned in my previous work that these groups stem from antiquity and the bloodlines of the Canaanites, Dan and Edom. The very groups prophesied in the Bible to not only be direct enemies of the Most High's children, but those whom would breed Satan worship throughout all nations and control the earth by sword until the last days and the coming of the Son of Man. The nations the Heavenly Father warned us about. The workers of iniquity, witchcraft, paganism, idolatry, and abominations. Can we not notice that these same groups produce the same fruits to this day? We are aware that they work through the spirit of Satan, but how? Satan or Lucifer has many names, we know this, uh, many conduits and messengers. We must study these messengers to fully understand or overstand the hidden hands operations and designs that are placed in the media to shape our perspectives, govern our bodies, and dictate the existence of nature. So we go to the beginning, the Garden of Eden, the serpent's tree of knowledge, the ambition of Godhood, the oneness of man and God. This paved the way for the reprobate mind and its vain search for the secret knowledge or Gnosticism and alchemy, uh, which paved the way for Rosicrucian theories which are pretty much the underpinnings of masonry and uh, all elite orders currently. Uh, moreover, the sciences of Satan, which displayed itself in the form of what we know as Hermeticism, the secret knowledge and scientific foundation of all secret orders and elite bloodlines. The secret orders that shape our world are easy to understand when we study their doctrine which is called the Western Esoteric Tradition, which is comprised of influences by Hermeticism. Our basis for what we know today is science, a religious, philosophical, and esoteric tradition based on the occult, the occult trinity of alchemy, astrology, and theurgy, which I've explained earlier in my um, sex magic video, theurgy being the act of invoking and evoking spirits. Okay, this is the foundation of, what's, of what we know as science. The trinity of alchemy, astrology, and theurgy. Um, which is all based in a very old, very ancient, pagan organization of power. Okay. Uh, though this trinity is ancient and originates in the fallen angels of Mount Hermon, similar to Hermes and Hermeticism, um, it began to take shape as a fundamental tradition during the Renaissance and the Reformation. Then as science it would be called and indoctrinated through the Royal Society and its pioneers like Isaac Newton. And previously we went into the Royal Society and its importance. Pretty much the uh, founding fathers of science came from the Royal Society. Um, Hermeticism took the lead role in the influencing and the control of humankind and nature through magic, alchemy, astrology, and divination. And Hermeticism was the basis of the Royal Society. Before it was called science, it was basically a Hermeticism, hermetic, hermetic practices, should we say. In other words, witchcraft. Let's make some connections. Adam fell to the knowledge of the serpent in the garden. Uh, this shape-shifting serpent of many names and forms, uh, Lucifer, was casted out of heaven with a third of the angels to become the gods of this earth and deceived mankind a second time, again showing the secret knowledge to man, introducing magic and witchcraft into the world in complete disobedience to the Most High. When casted out, they would land on Mount Hermon which connects to Hermes, the master magician of Greece who inspired Hermeticism, the secret knowledge of the Gnostics, or is it the secret knowledge of the serpent's tree? 
Hmm. Hermes, Mercury, Thoth, the shaman wizard, also known as Lucifer. Are we understanding these connections? From the knowledge of the garden to the knowledge of the fallen, which spawned the mystery religions of Babylon, Kabbalism, demonology and divination, the same knowledge that would thrive in Egyptian mysticism, to then influence the Greeks and the Romans, passed on once more and again, birthing new gods with the same origin, the same secret knowledge forbade by the Most High for man to practice, new names and organizers, yet same foundation of alchemy, astrology, and theurgy. In other words, witchcraft, okay? The secret knowledge of Satan. Disguised as a enticing secret knowledge hidden from man that would give man superpowers and bring them closer to God or accomplish Godhood, which uh, we know is a very old trick in Satan's playbook. Turning man into a God, the merging of the natural with the supernatural. So we understand through Hermeticism is the foundation of the Western esoteric tradition and science as we know it. Science is like a modern version of Hermeticism. It takes influence from and shares the exact roots of Eastern religions like Hinduism and Buddhism, even ancient pantheism of Greece and Persia and Egypt. These roots are uh, sorcery, divination, and spiritism, which all began on Mount Hermon, stemming from the forbidden tree, the knowledge that would corrupt man. Because man is inherently corrupt, sinful, and uh, susceptible to error and the desires of the flesh. That is why the Most High forbid sorcery and spiritism, not only because it forms the portal to the demon realm, but man is not fit to wield its power because power corrupts always and to whom much is given much is required so to keep man as his victim and operating in sin and in disobedience to the father satan would entice man with the secret knowledge and keep him defiant in the eyes of god under curses of sin and the wages of death robbing mankind of an eternal life offered by the Most High through righteousness, therefore collecting their souls, corrupting the earth, while utilizing man to do the dirty work through magic and science. Not to say science has not had its positive moments, um, yet it's the development of its use, described through uh, scientism and eugenics. Uh, the hidden hands that control it and have from the beginning. Like the Royal Society and the pagan Satan-worshipping bloodlines that make up these hands. That oversee Western science. Is it a coincidence that all these people have been atheists or theosophists? Haters of the Most High and disputers of his written word? I think not. Because they work for the God of this earth. They have called him Lucifer, Baal, Hermes, Thoth, and Mercury, the Grand Architect. See, they are serving the wrong master, and you can only serve one. Hence, our first concept, Hermeticism, of Hermes. Was not he known for abundant love affairs with mortals, daughters of men? Hermes, similar to the fallen angels of Mount Hermon, who behaved in a similar manner. Hermes, considered the trickster and patron of thieves, similar to another trickster, a deceiver, an ultimate thief of them all, and creator of nothing. In short, these connections are being made to suggest that Hermeticism is not only the foundation of the world dominating Western science and tradition, but it is, in its essence, the secret knowledge of Satan. 
further proving who the earth was given into the hands of. See, there is no good or bad magic when man is not capable of being trusted with any form of magic whatsoever. Similar to how communism, socialism, or utopianism is not possible to function justly on this earth. Neither is magic or witchcraft. Because Satan is the source of its power. And it is he who governs the flesh on this earth explaining exactly why our Heavenly Father has made all forms of sorcery and divination forbidden. Because it is not of the Father, therefore can only be of the other, the evil one, and what is Hermes often referred to as the magician. So it is vital that we understand the principles of Hermes and Hermeticism because it truly is the basis of the matrix that we inhabit today designed by witches and magicians who are steeped in the hermetic traditions that have been passed down through the elite families that control our world and have controlled our world for generations and generations. Many people mention the Illuminati or the controllers, yet they do not understand how they actually control the earth from behind the scenes. They often fail to explain the methodology and composition of their power which is esoteric magic of the ancient mystery schools of the East and the Gnostics of the West, Kabbalists and shamans, combined and infused over ages to produce a modern version of this concoction. We call it science. Since we are essentially still under a Greco-Roman rule, it makes complete sense why our education system of sciences is based on Hermeticism, named after the Greek deity Hermes teacher and messenger of the fallen knowledge of Mount Hermon that is used in medicine, environmentalism, eugenics, academics, religion, and space programs. Hermes is also the god of initiation and the rites of passage, purification, and transition. We see this heavily represented in the function of secret societies and fraternal orders and masonry, which are the operatives and gatekeepers under Lucifer in his world domination. Occultist and highly esteemed psychologist Carl Jung also praised the deity Hermes and described him as the archetypal core of his psychological theories. Based on his position as a mediator between the conscious and the unconscious realms, this further connects the spirit of Satan to the science of psychology, the study of human mind control, and mental spiritism. Hermes, the god of wealth and commerce. This is easily spotted in our decadent culture of material, pride of flesh, and banker-ruled society. He is often depicted with a purse or a bag in his hand, sometimes a magic wand. Hence our society's commercialism and obsession with value. We are simply in a modern world, stuck beneath a rulership that continues to worship the same ancient gods, or the many names of Satan disguising themselves as deities and magicians. Though things look different, not much has changed, neither has the power that rules this earth. Okay, so we live within a global system controlled from behind the shadows by a hermetic cult. Well, not necessarily though we very well are under the powers of several bloodline cults, which serve different deities and might vary in their immediate doctrines, we are sure that, based on the structure of Western esoteric tradition, they all practice a form of Hermeticism in some way or another. And it is understood those at the very top who are the most hidden are most likely a lot more um, severe and um, extreme in their practices. Um, along the lines of deep, deep satanic and uh, blood sacrifice ritualistic magic, which might exceed the traditional Gnosticism and Hermeticism. But again, these are deeply hidden shadow groups that provide little information. So we tend to focus on those that we can get the most information on and acquire the most research. And Hermeticism seems to be 
along with Gnosticism, they they are very similar. In fact, uh, they seem to be the blanket occultism that is used by um, most groups, since it is the foundation of all Western occultism. Particular cults may be subjective, but the source and fundamentals of magic are universal. Whether it be the Order of the Golden Dawn, Wiccan cults, Freemasonry, or the Theosophical Society, they all follow hermetic doctrines and serve the same master, Lucifer. So how does the elite occultists dictate humankind? They do so through the hermetic trinity and Kabbalah magic of alchemy, astrology, and theurgy, as we explained earlier. But how so, exactly? What kind of methods do they use? They accomplish this in seven ways. And mind you, this esoteric magic only works on those who are not protected by the Holy Spirit. There is a way out of this. There is a type of protection. Those who deny Christ and the Heavenly Father have no power against magic whatsoever. Again, there are only two choices. The Most High God of all things or the God of this world, Satan. By denying Christ the Son, you deny the Father, and by default are an object for Satan and unprotected against his powers. By denying the Holy Spirit, you must rely on the flesh, and Satan governs the flesh, and his magic transcends the flesh, rendering you powerless against it. And you can't fight magic with magic. Satan cannot cast out Satan. This explains why white magic, or the ignorant idea of using magic and esoteric knowledge for good, has yielded no results in overpowering black magic. Because, see, they come from the same source. And those attempting to practice magic for good are merely deceived and spinning their wheels. So what are these seven sources of human control? First, we'll start with sigil magic. This is the use of symbolism and the way symbols have an esoteric or spiritual influence on your behavior. Many people expose symbolism and its meanings to explain this and the reasoning behind the elite's constant and ubiquitous use of it. Second is numerology and gematria, number magic through word coding. Many people cover this as well and decode the patterns, yet many times they fail to grasp that this number and word coding isn't done by some psychopathic men in offices planning our future and sculpting our lives with numbers. Yet it's a type of cult practicing ancient hermetic Kabbalah magic by directly tapping into the supernatural and the architect of this earth, Satan. No man could perform these codes and synchronicities alone. But unfortunately, many who study the art of Gematria know nothing about the occult and its dependence on magic through the service of Satan. They can expose the code and yet have no realistic solutions to its power. Sometimes you hear people say, oh, we just have to be awake. We all have to know what's going on, know that this is all coded. And, and they go on to say, you know, we all just need to come together and understand the truth. And see, when you don't know esoterics and you don't know that this world is controlled by Satan and controlled by the flesh, you want to understand that that is idealism. That, that type of we all just need to wake up thing and come together and fight the system will never be because the system is strategically designed against us and without the holy spirit without righteousness we never will be able to come together under truth ever just as socialism and communism and utopianism will never work neither will that see there's a reason why we aren't supposed to use magic there's a reason why we've been warned against it because we will fall victim to it without protection through righteousness and the belief in the most high God through his son Christ. And that's hard for some people to accept and I understand that. But when they go years with no results, uh, they'll understand. And the majority of people are living in sin. So the true protection from the Most High will never be granted over the people because we're all denying Him. And as we deny Him, by default, we become objects for Satan. And that's why these things continue. But let us continue. Third is the astrological mapping and alignment of the signs, seasons, and dates. Uh, in other words, star magic. 
All these things dictate the earth's function and human experience. Because the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. And the majority of this world is of it. And does not know the Father. So its manipulation and the abuse of its inhabitants is expected. Fourth is sound, visual, and color manipulation. This is Kabbalah sensory programming. They accomplish this through media, music, and film, and advertisement. In our universities, we are taught that this is called cognitive psychology, yet it is rooted in the Kabbalah. Fifth, we have the modern science, which is basically the alchemical manipulation of the natural world and is consistently defying the laws of nature by destroying the autonomy of humanity through technological dependence, further implying the hand of Satan in its advancements. Sixth is medicine, chemicals, and drugs. Pharmakia. The elite use these types of alchemical devices to control, predict, and destroy humanity and the earth. We see this in pharmaceuticals, GMOs, and chemical additives in products, water, and the air. And lastly, number seven, we have the hermetic quality that produces theurgy, or the invoking or evoking of the supernatural, and that is rituals and sacrifice. Sigil magic, numerology, and astrological mapping are also parts of this theurgy, yet ritual and sacrifice are utilizing them all as representations of the offering to acquire powers, favor, or control over given events. So no, it's not bankers or money, greed, and oil that are controlling the earth in our minds. These would be considered exoteric examples, byproducts. It's much deeper, much older, and not of this earth, in fact. This is exactly why humanity cannot overcome or overpower these secret orders. Think about it. Why would the elite be in it for money when they own the printers that print the money? They know the currency is a sham, a hoax material. They have no use for acquiring it. It's merely a piece of cheese on the trap to keep you stuck in the race. Buying into their symbols, rituals, and witchcraft. Worshipping their idols and golden calves. Striving for self-perfection and godhood like the ancient Gnostics. Erasing any understanding of the Father and his righteousness from your mind and filling it with hot air and bubblegum. Playing on your ignorance and flesh dependence. Opening you up to spiritual manipulation and mind control of the most ancient of times. Without the Holy Spirit, you are nothing but bait on this earth. A sitting duck ripe for the picking. 